Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to introduce Nancy Sasaki and Michelle Silverthorne of Alliance Healthcare Foundation to introduce the Mission Support Grantees of 2016. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Great. It's so good to be here. It's great to be back. I know. We're excited to make these announcements. I'm Nancy Sasaki. I'm the Executive Director at Alliance Healthcare Foundation. And I'm Michelle Silverthorne, Program Officer at Alliance Healthcare Foundation. And we're really excited to be able to announce the Mission Support Grantees for 2016. But first, I thought I'd give you a little bit of the history of Mission Support Grants. They actually started in 2010 when the board was looking at the way we were getting money into the community. And we thought it would be best to align that money more with our mission, but also to streamline it so that there's less work involved in getting the money to the community. And at that time, Mission Support was a way of doing that so that organizations can use the money as they see fit. Of course, they got to align with our mission, but you know, there's so many needs and so many times that they have other costs that aren't covered by other grants that we wanted to be able to support them in the work that they're doing. So, so did you know, Nancy, this year there were 114 applicants. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's a really competitive process. And there's a lot of organizations that do amazing work in our community that relate to health and wellness. But one of the first things that we look at when we're reviewing the applications is health and wellness and how it directly relates to the constituents of the organizations. Something else that we consider in, in that same realm is how the work is reducing costs, improving quality, or increasing capacity. Yeah, you know, that's so important because we're the stewards of the funds and we really want to make sure that we're having an impact in the in the community with the dollars that we're giving out even though they can use them as they want to right. um, we still want to know that there's more than just people coming in the door that there's some impact when they walk out the door that something happens to them that it makes their health and wellness that much more better yeah more better? More better. More better. I'm we from want Texas, it to be more better. We want it more better. Um, so you know, we are here today, though, to, um, and are very excited to be able to announce the mission support grantees of 2016. This year, we thought that it would be fun to do that according to our target populations. Since there are four target populations, we thought we would go by those categories and tell you who the awardees are in each of those categories. So you want to start us off? I'm ready. I'm excited to do it. All right. Okay. And the first category our is? first category is? People under 200, 250% of the poverty level. And the awardees, the winners are in San Diego, CHIP, Community Health Improvement Partners, Elder Help, Multicultural Health Foundation, and Somali Family Service. In Imperial County, Cancer Resource Center of the Desert, Neighborhood House of Calexico, and Imperial County Food Bank. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. You know, I learned that Imperial County Food Bank delivers 20,000 meals a month. Wow, that is a lot of food. That I don't think I eat that much in a year. I, I'm I, not sure. That is a lot of meals. But I think what's really sad is that that's how many meals have to be delivered in order to have people feel like they have some food security out in Absolutely. Imperial County. And I know that they still think that there's more out there that need food yep. than that. So we're really excited to be able to work with them. Absolutely. And our next category of, and our target population is the underinsured or the uninsured. And in this category, the awardees are here in San Diego County Planned Parenthood, San Diego County Medical Society Foundation, and the UCSD Student Run Free Clinic. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! In this category, one of the fun facts is about the UCSD Student Run Free Clinic. They actually provide a very broad range of services, all the way from acupuncture to restorative dental care. And, and this is all for the homeless population in the downtown area. So it's very exciting. Very exciting. All, all right. right. Who do we have up next? Our next target population is children. And the awardees are in San Diego, Just In Time Foster Youth, Neighborhood House, Reality Changers, and Voices for Children. In Imperial County, we have CASA Imperial County, which is Court Appointed Social Advocates. Yay! Congratulations! Yay! Yay. And in this, the children category, we have some new grantees, so I'm looking forward to working with these other organizations and learning more about their work. It will be very exciting, definitely. And in our fourth category of our target populations, we have the homeless individuals and families. And the awardees here are in San Diego County, Dreams for Change, PATH, which are people assisting the homeless, and the San Diego Rescue Mission. 
And in Imperial County, it's the Imperial Valley Task Force for the Homeless. So congratulations to all of these organizations. Congratulations. Yeah. And one of the fun facts in this category, San Diego Rescue Mission kind of bleeds over into your category of children because they just started a children's center that provides services for the homeless children that they're f serving in terms of their families. And, you know, it's, it's exciting to know that they have that available and it's very heartbreaking to know that they have to have it available. Absolutely. So, yeah, well, we have a new crop of grantees this year. We have 14 grantees. 14 in, in San, San Diego. Diego County. Eight of them are returning from last year. Mm -hmm. And then we have five in Imperial County, and four of them are returning. So some we know and some that we get to l learn more about and all that we are excited to work with. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to how their work impacts health and wellness in San Diego and Imperial Counties. So you can also check it out at hashtag MSG2016. You can also follow us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, what, what are the other follow things that you do? Con connect, follow, yeah. do all that stuff with Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and you'll learn more about us and our progress as we work with our grantees for 2016. Yeah, congratulations to all our Congratulations to all. Thank you.